Hey everybody, today I have Kiss the Rain by Yuruma. This is a fingerstyle tab that I found on Songster. It's not the Sungha Jung version. His has a partial capo and it's pretty detuned, the guitar. So uh, I went with this one. I don't know who it's by, but it sounds pretty good and it's easy to play. So yeah, speaking of the sound, I'm sorry if it's a little weird in here. The uh, acoustics are kind of bad because it's such a big room, but what are you going to do? So we start off here with this little bit. Okay, so you have open D to open G to second on the G. By the way, capo on the first fret. I don't know if I mentioned that. Sorry. Okay, and then you have this G shape. I do it like this. It's a little tricky to get, but it's three on the low E, two on the A, open D, and second on the uh, G. So it's like a G add something. <laughs> and you go down. Then you hit the top two with the uh, the G and the B, the open B. So like that. And then you hit the open D. You hit the G string, back to the D, and then back to the E. So. And uh, when you hit the E, it's part of this like quadruplet, I guess, of like that. So you have three on the E, and then hammer on from open G to second on the G, and then hit the open B, so. That's how I do it. I hold this shape the whole time until you get to this part. which is just a modified version of this G chord. You have second on the A, open D, second on the G, and third on the B. And you hit uh, those lower three notes. And then you hit the B and the G string, and then just the B. Okay, then you hit the D, and then the G, so. And then you hit the B, and then you go to the high E, and then second on the high E, you can do a hammer on. Um, next part is you have open low E, open G, open B, second on the E, which you hammer on to the third. And then you hit the third again, with the second of the D. Okay. And then you have open G, and then open D. So, like that. Then you have this part. Okay. Usually I incorporate some of the open strings with that. I think it sounds a little better, but uh, what it is is fifth on the E, and then seventh on the E. I kind of do a slide thing um, over those four notes, but uh, it's up to you. So you have five on the E, seven on the E, back to the five, and then to the three. So that's usually how I do it. Then you have this minor chord, which is second on the A, it's a bar chord, second on the A, 
fourth on the G, third on the B, and second on the E. So. Okay, so from uh, measure four. You just go up those notes, then you hit the G string, the B, the G, so. And then you hit the open D, G, and B, so. Okay, then you have, which is three, two on the E to three on the B. And then you have a C add nine without the uh, high E, which is three on the A, two on the D, open G, and three on the B. Again, you can look at the tab. And then two open E's. Okay, then you have D, G, so. Then you have this, which is kind of tricky, but it's um, third on the A, and then you pull off three to one on the B. Then you have, which is second on the A, open D and G, first on the B, and then you go to the third of the B. And then you hit that again without the uh, root on the A, so. Then you have open D, open G, back to the open D, so. Then you have which is open G to second on the G, hammer on, and then open A, open G, and open B, to first on the B, and open G. So, hit that twice, and then you have second of the D, open G, back to the D, Then you have third of the B and open G. Pull off to first of the B. Hit those three open, the uh, D, G, and B. And then hit them individually. And then this last part. Okay, the last part is open D and second of the G. Hit the uh, D again, and then open G to second of the G. Like how you uh, began it in the first time, the uh, that thing. You repeat it there. So that uh, last little bit, starting at this. Uh, And you repeat. That's all I'm going to teach today. I'll play it uh, again really slowly. If you need me to go anything or over anything in more detail, let me know. But uh, here it is.
Okay. Um, I also do a little bit of improvisation throughout the thing. Um, I just mess with the chord shapes. Uh, so if it sounds a little bit different than what the tab is calling for, that's why. But uh, it's nothing too fancy, and I'm sure you can figure it out. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.